Good morning, dear children. So, in the previous class of maths, you learnt simple addition and carryover sums. Now, today I am going to teach you adding three two digit numbers and word problems. Okay, I hope whatever I taught you in the previous class, you all have practiced at home and you all are studying nicely. You can also practice the sums given in your book in lesson number two that is addition okay so let's so let's begin children adding three two digit numbers now see these all are three numbers first second third okay and all these are two digit numbers so you have to add them earlier you did simple addition and carry over sums so we are going to follow the same method that is drawing lines method to do it okay here is the plus sign it means you have to add and you always start adding from which place from ones place so we'll begin from ones place understood so we have 8 over here, then we have 7, then we have 2. So for 8, how many lines you are going to draw? You are going to draw 8 lines. So let's start drawing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now put a plus sign. Now how many lines you are going to draw? Yes, 7 lines. So start drawing 7 lines. I am drawing over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, these are 7 lines. Now, again put a plus sign. Now, how many lines you are going to draw? What is written over here? 2 is written over here. So, you are going to draw 2 lines. 1, 2. Okay. Now, count the total number of lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, total number of lines are 17. Yes, 17 is a two digit number. Okay, T O. So, the digit which is at one's place is going to go under one's place. And the digit which is at tens place is going to go at tens place. Yes, this is what I told you. Yes or no children? This full thing if you write over here, the answer will be wrong. So, you will write this 7 over here and you will take this one up over here. Like this. Okay. Now, you will add all these four including this okay all these you have to add so start adding you can add like this also without drawing lines it is very easy start counting one two three four it makes four you can also draw lines and check for this one draw one line put a plus sign for this one you draw one more line put a plus sign for this one you draw one more line Put a plus sign and for this one also you draw one more line. Now count the total number of lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. So your answer will be 4. So you are going to write 4 over here like this. So your answer is 4 tenths and 7 ones which makes 47. Understood? Now see the next one children. This is the next example. Okay. Here is the plus sign which means you have to add. You always start adding from which place? Ones place. So, at ones place we have two on top. It means how many lines you are going to draw? Two lines. One, two. Okay. Now you are going to put a plus sign. Which is the second number? Six. So, how many lines you are going to draw? Six lines. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6. Okay. Put a plus sign. Now, see the last number. That is 4. So, how many lines you will draw? 4 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, count the total number of lines. 1, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व यू गेट ट्वेल्व नाउ ट्वेल्व अगेन इज अ टू डिजिट नंबर सो दिस टू विल गो एट वंस प्लेस दैट इज ओवर यर एंड दिस वन विल गो एट टेंस प्लेस दैट इज ओवर यर ओके नाउ यू हैव टू एट ऑल दीज ओके यू हैव टू इंक्लूड दिस वन ऑल्सो सो लेट स्टार्ट फॉर दिस वन यू कैन ड्रॉ वन लाइन पुट अ प्लस साइन नेक्स्ट फॉर दिस वन यू कैन ड्रॉ वन लाइन पुट अ प्लस साइन फॉर दिस टू यू कैन ड्रॉ टू लाइन्स देन पुट अ प्लस साइन फॉर दिस वन यू कैन ड्रॉ वन लाइन नाउ काउंट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ लाइन्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू राइट फाइव सो दिस इज फाइव टेंस एंड टू वन विच मेक्स फिफ्टी टू ओके चिल्ड्रन सो ना नाउ आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ओके वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स मीन्स यू हैव टू मेक स्टेटमेंट्स एंड देन सॉल्व दीज सम्स ओके हैव अ लुक ओवे यू Ram bought thirty-four red pens and twelve black pens. How many pens does he have in all? Okay, what it is said that there is a boy whose name is Ram. He went to a shop. He bought thirty-four red pens. How many red pens? Thirty-four red pens. Okay, so. Thirty-four red pens and twelve black pens. So, how many black pens he bought? Twelve black pens. So, we have to find out that how many pens does he have in all? What you are going to do to find out how many pens he is having in all? In all means you have to add. What you will do? You will add, okay. So first, you have to form statements, okay. Now, how you are going to form statements? You take out red pens to form the first statement, okay, and you take out black pens from here to form the second statement, okay. So this way, I took out red pens and black pens. now how you will make the first statement you just have to add number of over here okay in front of red pens you have to write number of it means number of red pens and in front of black pens also you will write number of black pens so this will be your second statement so in this way children you have formed the statements the first statement is number of red pens the second statement is number of black pens now what you have to do is in first of the first statement write the number of red pens how many red pens are there yes you can see over here 34 so you will write 34 now how many black pens are there you can see over here 12 so in front of this statement you are going to write 12 okay now on top you should remember to write t o t o that is tens place and ones place and which sign you have to put you have to find out in all how many pens he is having so you have to put plus sign okay now we will add okay so let's start adding you can add this by using your fingers only so first at ones place we have four so take out four fingers okay then below you have two so you take out two more okay now start counting 
6. So, what you will write over here? 6. Okay. You will write 6. Now, start adding the numbers at tens place. Okay. So, first you have 3 on top. So, how many fingers you will take out? 3. And below you have 1. So, take out one more finger. Now, start counting 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what you are going to write? 4. Okay. Now, what will be your last statement? This is the answer. Okay. So, your last statement will be total pens. You had to find out how many pens he is having in all. So, your last statement will be total pens. Okay. So, in front of this, you are going to write total pens. Okay. So, in this way, you have to do it. See, I have drawn lines to make it more clear to you. Number of red pens are 34. Number of black pens are 12. Now, the answer that is total pens. It is 46. But you don't have to draw these lines. In this way, you are going to do word problems. Okay, children. Now, in the end, you have to write answer. Answer equals to 46 pens. So, in this way, you are going to write the answer 46 pence and you are going to end your word problem like this. Now, children, have a look at this question. See what is written over here. Class 2 went for a picnic to Tagore Park. There were 12 boys, 15 girls and 7 teachers. How many people went in all? So, first you have to understand the question. See what is written in this question. Class 2 went for a picnic to Tagore Park. Where did class 2 go for picnic? To Tagore Park. Okay. And how many boys went? See, 12 boys went. Okay. How many girls went? 15 girls went. And how many teachers went? Seven teachers went. Okay, so what is asked in the question? It is asked how many people went in all. So in all means you have to add. You have to find out how many people went in all. So how you will find out how many people went in all? By adding the boys, girls and the teachers. Yes. So, how many boys went? 12. How many girls went? 15. And how many teachers went? 7 teachers. Okay. So, 7 teachers went. And how you will find this out? By adding all of them together. So, how you will form the statements? Okay. So, how you have to form the statements? You have to understand nicely. So, I told you always take out the statements from the questions itself okay so first one the boys you will write then girls and then teachers and then you just to you just have to add number of in front of them so have a look over here okay boys we have taken out from here girls we have taken out from here teachers we have taken out from here okay from the question itself now you just have to write number of in front of these. So now your statements are formed in this way. See, number of boys, number of girls, number of teachers. Okay, so tell me how many boys were there? Yes, how many boys were there? 12. So you are going to write 12 in front of boys. How many girls were there? 15. So, you are going to write 15 in front of girls. And how many teachers were there? 7. So, see this is a single number 7. It means it will come under 1's place. Okay. Over here. Here you can write 0 also. And then on top you have to write T-O. Okay. Now, which sign you are going to put? Yes, you have to find how many people went in all. It means you have to put plus sign. So, in this way, you will put 
the plus sign. So first you will start adding from ones place. Okay. So start. Which number is given at the top? Two. So how many lines you will draw? Two lines. Okay. Then put a plus sign. Which number is given next? Five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then plus sign. Now which number is given next? Seven. So seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now start counting the number of lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So you get fourteen. Understood? Now 14 is a two digit number. It means tens place and ones place it is having. So the number which is at ones place will go over here at ones place column only. So you will write 4 over here and this one will go at tens place. It means on top over here. Okay. Now you can start counting. You have to include this one also. Okay. So start counting. One, two, three. So you get three or you can draw lines also and write one line plus again one line plus again one line. This makes one, two, three. Okay. So you get 34. So, what will be your last statement now? How many people went in all? You had to find out. So, the last statement can be total people. It means in front of this you will write total people. So, children... Here you will write total people that is 34 and in the end you will write answer that is 34 people. So in this way you are going to end your word problem. Okay. I hope you have understood. Do practice these word problems at home. Okay. Thank you.